Uh, cat, 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 come on. So, Minnesota Fighting Vikings quarterback Kirk Ua, Jerome Azigo Cousins is an absolute lightning rod, whether it be amongst the fan base, whether it be amongst the national media, Jerome Haircuts, who hate his guts. Absolutely just uh, hate them some Kirk Cousins. It is what it is. But the question is, where does he rank in terms of the hierarchy of NFL quarterbacks? So the haters will say, I don't know, 20s. The, the, the lovers will say, Top 10. Uh, Danny Cannell, former NFL quarterback. Is it Florida State? I don't know. Uh, radio personality. Uh, bit of a shock jock. Sometimes he, he will say things just to get a reaction. He's very incendiary. It is what it is. Uh, he did up a ranking of the top 32 quarterbacks in the National Football League. And lo and behold, beep, pop, pop, boop, boop. Kirk Cousins ends up as a top 10. Now, Part of this could be a little bit of a hot take. Part of this uh, is hey, you have to give him credit because he was an NFL quarterback. He, he knows uh, he knows what to do. He, he knows the ropes. He, he knows what it takes to be an NFL QB. It's a tough job to get, right? I didn't get it, and I applied several times. So there's a little bit of credence there, uh, and we want to walk through the, the whole top 32 because there's a couple of head, head scratchers. So at 32, Sam Darnold, yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's fair, dog. Where, man, the entire 2018 class, I mean, not so much. Anyway, uh, Darnold at 32, Zach Wilson at 31. I think that's a little bit low for Zach Wilson. But, again, you're, what are the parameters of the rankings? Are we talking about right meow? Are we talking about potential? What, what are we talking about? Is it a balance of both? Okay. I would put Zach Wilson on the same plane as Justin Fields. I would put Zach Wilson above Trubisky. You know what you're going to get there. I would obviously put him above Drew Locke. I would actually raise Davis Mills up. I would actually put Davis Mills as um, like him and Trevor Lawrence uh, about the same level in terms of 2021 uh, rookie quarterbacks. Dan Daniel Jones is too high at 25. He simply is. Like I would. Mm, let's see what what would we do here. I might drop Daniel Jones down to 31. It's just really good time to be in New York when you had Daniel Jones and Sam Darnold. It was the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, Mariota, 27. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And then Carson Wentz at 24. Obviously, would drop him. Uh, Trevor Lawrence at 23. I, th I think that's fair. Uh, he certainly he, he will benefit from having a non-toxic work environment this time around. That's for sure. I think him and Doug Peterson uh, will work well together. To, uh, Hertz is too low. I don't know where I'd put Hertz off the top of my head, but he's too low. Mac Jones, um, I, I think that's fair. Yeah, I can't, because, uh, you know, Lor I would, all right, so Mac Jones, Lawrence, and then Davis Mills. I mean, Mac Jones obviously benefited from being on the best team. So there you go. Uh, then you got Kyler. Ky so Kyler's a little bit polarizing too. I, I have a lot of love for Kyler. I hmm. would I take Kyler or Kirk Cousins for this season? It's pretty close. It's pretty close to be honest. Uh, you, you get the good and the bad with Kyler. You, you get the YOLO, uh, and then you get the yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. Right, right. All right. So Kyler, I will put Kyler above Jameis. Obviously, I put Kyler above Garoppolo. Yes. I would put Kyler above uh, Jared Goof. I would put him above Tannehill. I would put him above Matt Ryan at this stage of his career. Yes, uh, I, I, I love that Cannell is accurately rating Derek Carr because I think Derek Carr gets too much hype. And also, no one talks about Derek Carr being overpaid. Everyone talks about Kirk Cousins being overpaid, but Derek Carr got the brick. Like Derek Carr and Dak Prescott are infinitely more overpaid than Kirk Cousins ever was at any point of his career. I said it. There, there, I said it. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson. I, I guess Deshaun Watson is low because yeah, he basically had last year off. He's probably going to be suspended. Even Hell, does he even play for the Browns? $230 million fully guaranteed. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Uh, Lamar, Lamar's hard to gauge because the Ravens did the smart thing and they built their offense completely around him. But can you win sustainably? You know, with his style of play, can you win in the playoffs? Can you win a big game when you have to make a throw? I think that Lamar, he's obviously electric uh, on his feet, but he misses too many throws. He, he really does. And I'm a big Lamar fan, but he simply just, there's sometimes when he's super accurate, there's sometimes where he makes these insane plays, and other times he literally cannot hit the broadside of a barn with the ball. Now, 
they could obviously get him some wide receiver help. I mean, Bateman can't do it by himself, and they trade to Hollywood Brown. Lamar was really tight with. I don't know. Uh, Matt Ryan. Yeah, Matt Ryan's going to buy in reputation here. Tannehill, I think that's fair. Jared Goof is a little bit too high. I I would put Kirk above Dak in, in reality. Where, what's the difference between Kirk and Dak? I, I really want to know. Like, what are the big games that Dak has won? Does Dak make the players around him better, or has he benefited from one of the best offensive lines in football as well as a great supporting cast? You could say he's he's doing well despite Mike McCarthy, but yeah, there there he'd be. And then top eight, Rodgers disagree, hard disagree. I would put I will put Mahomes and Allen above Rodgers. I I will put them above Tom Brady at this stage, but of course you can't argue with success. I would put. I would actually put Herbert. I would put Herbert above Russell Wilson. I would have you know, Ru- Russ above Stafford. Yes, I'll put Burrow above Russ. So yeah, my my top five would be super young. It'd be, it'd be. I'm not sure of the order off the top of my head, but it would be Allen, Mahomes, Burrow, and Herbert as the top four. And also, I I should really recuse myself from a, a- round Rodgers. Although, how could you say with a straight face that? he's going to be better this year since the offensive line got worse as well as they lost Devonta Adams. But uh, okay, sure, 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 sure. Oh, he's got Sammy Watkins. Hallelujah. Great. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, again, recusing myself from A.A. Ron Rogers. Uh, I'm fine with having Kirk Cousins. I, again, I'll put Cousins above Dak, but I would put pretty much everyone else. Well, longstanding feud with Stafford. Aside, where I I still think that Stafford and Kirk Cousins are Spider-Man pointing meme, the same dude. Uh, Matthew Stafford just got lightning in the bottle last year with Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips and Sean McVay, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I would take if we're talking about just one year. Yeah, I, I would take Brady, Mahomes, Allen, Russ, Burrow, and Herbert uh, over Kirk Cousins again. Abstaining from Rodgers because obviously I'm biased and f that guy right in the face. Yeah, that is all. But yeah, overall, I I, I agree with Canell's rankings to a degree. I, I think he's too high on a couple guys. I think he's too low on a couple. But uh, that's the great thing about rankings that no every single one is different, and only mine are perfect. I, I should do a quarterback ranking. That should be easy to do. Anyways, uh, Danny Canell, CBS Sports, sees Kirk Cousins as a top ten quarterback. Ten, ten. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.